Hello everyone, my name is Barbara, I'm a Polish girl who lives in Ireland and likes knit and today I have a gift knitting video for you. What's that about? It's about a pair of socks that I receive from another knitter. This video is not a tutorial, it's more about sharing with you the joy of receiving a knitted item and this one that I got, it's as you can see, a pair of socks. And I got them from Diane and last year when we decided, we decided to lower um, the package they were going to send to each other and to spice things up instead of sending ourselves on the 25th a pair of socks pair, a skein of yarn, we decided to knit each other socks. And this is the pair that I got because it's now, because the day is 29 so I can show you now definitely. So anyway, if you haven't seen what kind of socks I knitted as a gift, uh, please check this video, I put the link down below and if you're interested how I knit my socks you can check the link down below I'm going or at the end I'm going to leave um, a video that you can click when I show step-by-step -step tutorial even and free pattern you can grab no I don't have a pattern on Ravelry. Do you think I should write it down or the tutorial is enough? Anyway so, <laughs> so we are allowed ourselves to only say before 25th of December, is it variegated yarn? Is it stripy yarn? Uh, we're not going to tell each other what kind of color we do. Uh, I'm not sure that we say even, are we going to do contrast heels, toes and calves, which is unbelievable because literally we went for the same color, which is a white color. I'm not sure what kind of yarn she used for this, but I know the name and the brand of uh, this beautiful main color. This. I'm going to tell you now what I know about this project. Okay, you're probably wondering what that is. I'm not sure is the yarn, the, the contrast color is not the same one that I used. I'm not sure if I get information. I'll put the information down below in the show notes and under the YouTube video, just in case you're watching it somewhere else. But it, it looks kind of nicer to be honest. So I'm not sure, but it's really nice, kind of off and white. Do you see it? No, it shows complete white. Or maybe in the, in the dark, I can see that way. The main color is on the screen also, because my lovely friend is from Canada and she's fluent in French, which I'm not, but let's try this out. So the yarn is biscotti yarn. And in the, this sock base, and the color that we have over here is Les Ailes du Papillon, which means butterflies wing, or wings, butterflies wings, I think, which is quite fun because if you check the yarn that I used, it's called Jewel's Wing, and I still haven't checked what that is. No, sorry, I can't find images, they're showing me just jewels wings and stuff so if you know let me know down below but this is butterfly butterflies wings and oh it's so pretty not sure can you see it but we have over here a gray a white and then we have that beautiful turquoise color but that's the thing it's not the turquoise that you normally think about hmm, it's not a turquoise it's a green green lovely green i would not mind to have a sweater quantity of this um, and then we have a black, so I'm trying to bring it closer and I hope you see, yeah, you can see the color. So let me know what that color is, not turquoise, it's more green than the turquoise color. Turquoise kind of um, reminds me or calls a blue in my head, I'm not sure why. Now, how these socks were knitted? These socks were knitted, I presume, on 2.25 mm US size 1. They were knitted from the toes up. I'm not sure where they are two together or separately, um, but I'm not sure what kind of decreases were made over here, but I think maybe make one left, make one right, I'm just guessing. We're going up and then what we see over here is Fish Lips Kiss Heel. And you, I've knitted Fish Lips Kiss Heel, so if you go to my playlist socks, you may see how, uh, socks knitted that way. But this is how the, the sock looks like. Tiny little thing. I think it looks better <laughs> like that. 
um, little thing. So I love it. Uh, I have I like to knit uh, after thought heels uh, because I'm adding extra rounds over here. I think you can do that with fish lips kiss heel. Fish lips, fish lips kiss heel. You probably can't do that with that. Uh, but I what I like to do I like to do three or four rounds. Uh, before I start decreasing and you know fish lips kiss heel is a paid for pattern but it's so cheap check it out if you have never done it um, and then we're going there we're going to a ribbing and we can see over here one by one it is so nice because it's proper one by one not the one that I do if I do one by one but I did two by two actually for my socks I prefer that to knit myself but it looks so cute over here Kind of bouncy and we have a cast uh, off cast off over here which is oh it's the judy stretchy cast off i think with um with a yarn over i haven't done that myself but i've heard about it i've never seen it on my pure eyes <laughs> i have never seen it in person so it looks so cool now i could be saying nonsense but this is what i'm thinking I see and it's so beautiful literally check that out so check this out do you see this oh my who knows what that is who knows who knows check it out I think that's all I can say by looking at it oh and we notice that we have the same gauge so but that that's basically what's first thing in your mind will I knit a sock that it will fit other person. We were a little bit afraid, are we going to knit the same way? So what would we do? I asked um, to, for, I asked to put, place the sock flat and see how wide do you get where, for your perfect socks. So if you're knitting a pair for myself, what I like to have over here, I think I like nine centimeters. Yeah, I like to have nine centimeters, which is 3.5 inches. So this is what I'm talking about. Oh, yeah. See this? 3.5. Uh, that way, or you can also say what kind of gauge you have. So for this socks that I knitted over here, which is kind of bulkier yarn, and I'm going to show you for the sock shop check next time. <laughs> I got eight stitches or one nine stitches per one inch. I think I got eight uh, with that. So over here, I know she's a little bit tinier, but it fits me. So what we have over here, we have eight centimeters. So if you put this up flat, it's eight centimeters. So it's three inches, but I can still fit my leg. So even though, you know, we have one inch or here, there, not a big deal I would say I still can fit it so here how they look on my foot <laughs> nice. so my leg is approximately 25 centimeters which is nine and a half inch and the sock is 22 centimeters which is eight and a half yeah so it's very it's very fitted socks but with the yarn you know they Socks have a tendency to, to stretch, so if you're knitting a sock for someone, try to maybe get one inch, one inch less than their actual foot. But if it's narrow, then better to have longer. Anyway, they fit me perfectly. Um, thank you so much for the gift. I'm enjoying it. I probably will cherish it for a while and not to wear them um, because they're so pretty. So that's that. Thank you so much for the gift, and I encourage everyone to knit socks for others or. Uh, swap socks with other knitters. I hope you enjoyed this one. See you next one. Don't forget to check what the links I prepared for you down below and subscribe, like, till the next one. Bye!